Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack, who lived with his single mother named Mum, and a cow who wasn't named at all. The nameless cow, let's call her Milky, didn't live up to her name because she wasn't providing any more milk for Jack and his mother, not even a drop, due to early onset of utter arthritis. Sadly, with their calcium intake in jeopardy, Jack's mother sent the young boy into town to sell their beloved cow for much needed milk money. On the way to the markets, Jack came upon a strange stranger who was strangening on the side of the road. Hey boy, said the stranger, I'll give you five magic beans for your cow there. At first, Jack hesitated, but decided if he accepted the strange offer, he wouldn't have to walk the rest of the way into town. He agreed, and the strange man handed him five magical beans. Jack rushed back home, excited to tell his mother of the magic beans. However, she was not pleased at all that he had sold their cow in return for only beans. She grabbed the beans and threw them out the window and sent Jack up to bed without supper, which was a pity because it was Vegemite on toast. The next morning, Jack awoke to an extraordinary sight. A humongous beanstalk had sprouted outside his window. He ventured outside to see the beanstalk reaching far up into the clouds above. The magic beans must have really been magic to grow overnight, Jack said excitedly, before giving in to curiosity and climbing up the gigantic plant. Jack climbed and climbed until he was in the clouds. He looked around and saw a menacing ancient castle. The clouds proved thick enough to hold the boy and he headed towards the monstrous structure. After knocking on the huge door, there was no answer. So he pushed and pushed and managed to creak it open and slip inside the castle. Behind the safety of a massive chair, Jack saw an enormous man sitting at an equally enormous table counting gold coins. I hope he doesn't see me, otherwise he'll eat me, Jack thought while shivering from the attitude and fear. His terror faded away when the giant fell asleep. His thunderous snoring echoed throughout the castle. Jack thought the gold coins on the table would make up for the magic beans and make his mother happy. So brave Jack climbed the table and stumbled upon things of great value. Beside the many gold coins was an enchanting golden harp. And next to that was a golden egg laying hen. Jack was having a hard time choosing what his small arms could carry with him when he caught sight of a bottle marked Utter Arthritis Elixir. This was obviously the giant's drug of choice, but Jack thought he could use it to heal Milky and thereby heal his relationship with his mother, going back to how it was before the magic beans and missing suppers. Jack grabbed the bottle in the shadow of the sleeping giant. As Jack slowly and carefully climbed back down the table, the giant woke up and erupted with anger and Shakespeare. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Being an Englishman, Jack was filled with such horror that he had never known before. His English blood froze and he jumped down to the floor and ran back towards the castle door while the sniffing giant stood with an earthquaking thud. As Jack hurried back over the clouds, the giant ripped open the door and began chasing the boy and his stolen elixir. Jack arrived to where the leafy top of the giant beanstalk poked through the clouds and began to descend as quickly as possible, hanging and dropping through the leaves and branches. When he finally reached the ground, his mother was waiting for him with open arms. 
The mother and child reunion's rejoicing didn't last long, however, as the thick beanstalk began shaking under a very heavy weight. The giant was climbing down to the ground. Meanwhile, the strange stranger, with Milky in tow, hurried angrily towards the beanstalk root. Hey boy, you didn't tell me your cow had utter arthritis. I want my magic beans back, or I'll chop down your beanstalk. Go ahead, Jack said with a smile. As the giant's boot came into view, the angry stranger began chopping at the beanstalk with his axe. Jack and his mother and their cow moved safely inside as the stranger's axe shredded the beanstalk and it fell over, the giant landing hard upon the stranger. Soon after, with the help of the magical utter arthritis elixir, Jack and his mother once again had milk, and with the giant skeleton in front of their house, they enjoyed a bustling tourism business, and lived happily ever after.